I have a feeling that this holiday season is going to be very interesting following this election. We've already seen a shift where women are saying that they are tired of doing all of the holiday lifting, all of the labor and all of that. And then with the, the elections going the way it is, I have a feeling that more and more women are going to be opting out. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens in the social media discourse. So I want to get into this article from Newsweek. It says women are boycotting Thanksgiving with their Trump supporting family. It says multiple women have said they are boycotting Thanksgiving with their families in the aftermath of Donald Trump's election victory. Trump won his second term in the White House by securing the popular vote, but the majority of women voted for his Democratic opponent, Kamala Harris. 53% of women voted for Harris compared to 45% for Trump, according to a CNN exit poll, lower than the 57% of women who voted for Biden in 2020. The country is divided between those who are celebrating and those who are commiserating, with some women in the latter group speaking publicly about their concerns over what will happen to abortion rights and women's health under Trump. Online misogyny has surged in the wake of Trump's victory, with mentions of the phrase, your body, my choice, increasing by 5,150% from November 5th to November 9th in response to the election results. And a number of women have joined the 4B movement and are abstaining from romantic and sexual relationships with men and are shaving their heads. The, the whole shaving their heads thing, I have not seen that widespread and that is not necessary for 4B. So you do not have to do that to be a part of 4B. <laughs> Boycotting Thanksgiving with family members who voted for Trump is another way some women are protesting the election results, with many posting about it online. This is because anti-Trump feelings are magnified when the Trump supporter is a family member because we identify with family members, they are part of us, and thus have more trouble tolerating a big difference like this. William J. Doherty, PhD professor in the Department of Family Social Science at the University of Minnesota. In a viral TikTok video, Anna Gant, a 26-year-old mother, told how she and her fiancé had decided not to spend Thanksgiving with her family members who voted for Trump. She said, this is already the most sad holiday season I think I will, I will ever experience, solely for the fact that I have made the decision for myself and my fiancé and our child to skip out family holidays with my family that voted for Trump. And it's not the fact that they are Republicans, it's the fact that they voted for Donald Trump, knowing who he is and what he's capable of. And I'm mourning the fact that my family is, um, my family is educated white people and they still voted for him and they still voted for him. She went on, this to me proves that Trump and his MAGA cult are truly brainwashed and it's sad not knowing if I'll ever get my family back. I want to go and I want to have a good conversation, but I don't want to feel ostracized because I'm the only person in that room that voted for Kamala Harris, Gantt said. So if you are taking a rain check and avoiding family members or holiday celebrations this year because of the election and the results, you're not alone, she said. Doherty argued that it is usually women who are more affected by family conflict because they have less cultural permission to tune out and watch the football games. It comes after a Yale University chief psychiatry resident, Dr. Amanda Calhoun, told MSNBC's Joy Reid. So if you're going into a situation where you have family members, where you have close friends who you know voted in ways that are against you, it's completely fine to not be around those people and to tell them why. You know, to say, I have a problem with the way you voted because it went against my very livelihood and I'm not going to be around you this holiday. I need to take some space for me. Conversely, Doherty said, avoiding family members, especially at major family events like Thanksgiving, can create lasting family alienation and add to our larger problem with polarization. It can be okay to not discuss politics if you are feeling upset and agitated, but there are other things to talk about. I cannot bite my tongue. Last week, essayist Andrea Tate wrote a piece for the Huffington Post about her struggling to grapple with her husband and his family voting for Trump. 
After seeing her husband's Facebook post, God bless America, God bless 45 at 47, she sent him a text message saying, I love you, but out of respect for me and all my liberal writer friends, can you please take down that post? Also, tell your family I love them, but I will not be coming for Thanksgiving and I won't be hosting Christmas. I need space. She later told him, I'm sorry about the holidays, but I cannot bite my tongue like I did with Hillary. I don't want to disrespect your parents or your brother and his family in their home or our home. So it's best this way. No scenes. You can go see them. Seriously, I will not be in a room of five people who voted for Trump. Tate went on to write that she would not hold hands in a circle with people who voted for a party that wants to take away rights from LGBTQ people or sit by a Christmas tree celebrating the birth of Jesus and sipping eggnog when I know how many people may now find themselves in a grave, even deadly danger, because they cannot get the reproductive care they need. I'm cutting them out of my life completely. There are also several threads on Reddit about women boycotting Thanksgiving, including one user, Little Daphne, who said, I'm not going to work my ass off for all the men in my family while they expect all the women to cook and clean for Thanksgiving. I know for a fact that most of the men in my family voted for Trump, so F them. I'm cutting them out of my life completely. In one TikTok video, a woman called Stephanie Motto told how she was uninviting her brother and his fiance. Um, from holiday activities because they voted for Trump and then rubbed his victory in their mo their mom's face. Now, I understand we all have different opinions and political views, but you do not go to the home of a woman who financially supports you and rub it in her face, she said. Motto later added, I'm not saying that you need to cut out every single person in your life that doesn't agree with you politically, but if after this election, someone is literally taunting you, laughing at your face and disrespecting you, regardless of what political party they're part of, that person doesn't need to be in your life. The wave of comments from some women come as 65% of Americans say election related stress is impacting their holiday plans and nearly a quarter, 23%, are considering skipping Thanksgiving altogether because of it, according to a new survey from Spruce. Speaking to 2,000 people across all 50 U.S. states, the survey found that the majority of people, 52%, cited Trump-supporting family members as the source of their anxiety around Thanksgiving. 48% said that Harris-supporting family were the source of their Thanksgiving stress. I definitely think this holiday season is going to be a little different, but I think this part um, speaks to a wider issue that women are the ones that are out here working their butts off while the men just get to do whatever they feel like. And I think that this is one of the main reasons why women are going to opt out of the holidays and doing all the cooking and spending all the money and doing all the cleaning up beforehand and the cleanup afterwards, because they are tired of doing all of that. And this election just finally kind of broke everything down, like how the pandemic kind of broke many, many things as well. I think that this election season and this shift is going to really crush family dynamics and um, relations that were hanging on by a thread. This is a post that I saw in the 2X chromosomes from two and a half weeks ago. She says, boycott Thanksgiving. If you're dreading Thanksgiving with conservative relatives, just don't go. You're allowed to not go. If your family depends on your labor to cook or host, let them grub hub this one. The, the first comment says, an invitation is not a summons. You will not be arrested if you don't go. And then the OP says 100%. Plus, not being afraid of disappointing people is a gateway drug to standing up for oneself. Yes, you can stop being people pleasers if you choose to. And this person says, also, for those who struggle with people pleasing, they're going to be mad anyway. So do what you want and what protects your peace. Think about it. If you show up and they start trying to pull you into a fight, you'll be seen as the bad guy if you respond in any way. So just don't go. Let them be upset you didn't show up and protect your peace. Turn off your phone, turn off your notifications, and have a peaceful day. Jack Rabbit Road says, better yet, go somewhere enjoyable with people you actually want to spend time with. And Well Red Rose says Friendsgiving. Um, this person at the bottom says they do Tom Hanks giving with friends where they watch Tom Hanks movie and order Chinese food. 
you can create your own traditions. You do not have to spend a stressful time with people who just want to argue with you. You don't. Protect your peace and energy. Join the conversation. Let me know what are your game plans for this holiday season. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.